guys, today I'm doing my March wrap up and my April TBR. I did not read a lot in March at all. Uh, anyways, let's just jump into the books that I did read in March, even though it was only two. It's okay, it's okay. The first one that I finished was Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, and I did not do a book review on this one. I only did it on Clockwork Angel because I just kept reading them super fast, and I was sort of in a booktube ish slump, so I wasn't early editing videos, and it just didn't work out. But um, I love this book so much. I have a written review on my Goodreads. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I don't think I loved it as much as Clockwork Angel and Prince, but I still really loved it because it's like an Infernal Essence book and they're all magical. And the next and final book that I completed in March was Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare, which, okay, given these are two huge books, but still, like, I should have read more than two books. This book is massive and it took me two full weeks to read, but if you want to hear my entire story of reading this book and, like, my review and thoughts on everything, then go check out the review that I filmed. If you want to watch the review I filmed for this book, just click on the book and it'll be there. Um, it's like a pretty long video. This was such a good book though, oh my gosh, 4.5 out of 5 stars, I almost said 5. It was like so good and I can't get it out of my head, but like it wasn't perfect. There were a couple things that bothered me, but like, oh my gosh, overall, the characters and everything, it just, I love it so much! So much, guys, so much. And so that's it that I read in March. Like, not much at all. But I love both of those books so much. And I mean, I love that I took my time with uh, Lady Midnight, that one. Because I just had the most perfect reading experience while reading that book. So yeah, I've already finished one book in April, and that is Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. This was my first Sarah Dessen novel ever, and I loved it so much, guys. Like, I've heard good things about her books for so long, and I finally picked one up because I have like five. And I finally picked this one up because she's going to be at NTTBF and I'm going to meet her this month and I can get it signed. But I was just really in the mood for a contemporary and so I looked through all of my like Sarah Dessen synopsises and I found this one and it sounded really good. So I flew through this in like three sittings in like three days and it was just amazing. I have a whole written review up on my Goodreads and oh my gosh this book just like oh so good. It was so 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 good and I highly 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 recommend it. If you ever ever read a Sarah Dessen book before, this is a great one to start off with, as long as you're in the mood for it. I mean, like, it was just so perfect for what I was in the mood for, and I just love it so much. And every time I think back to it, I'm like, so happy, and I'm just so sad that it's over. I miss these guys so much. I'm so not ready to move on. Like, you wouldn't think a contemporary would hit you like that, but it did. And, like, I really don't want to let these characters go at all. The next book I'm probably going to pick up is Into the Dim by Jeanette B. Taylor. This is an author who's also going to be at NTTBF this year. If you don't know what that is, it's the North Texas Teen Book Festival. I feel like I talk about it in every single video. Yeah, this author is going to be there and it's a Scottish YA book that was just released and I'm dying to read it. Like, I'm dying, I'm dying right now. I need, I need to read you. So I'll probably be picking this up next and I am so pumped, guys. Like, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was going to say Scottish and then I was gonna say time travel. It just didn't work out, but that's okay. That's okay. And honestly, I really don't know what else I'm gonna pick up before into TBF because really like all the books I want to read this month are mainly for that and like all the authors who are gonna be there. I may pick up if I stay. I'm not really sure. Depends on what I'm in the mood for. I may read A Thousand Pieces of You or finish The Kiss of Deception, which by the way I didn't talk about. Um, I read 300 pages of it in March, so I mean I almost read three books. I know it's a super unpopular opinion because everyone loves Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. And I picked it up because I have that one and I have the sequel and the author's gonna be at into TBF. And I really, really, really strongly disliked it. And I'm so sorry to the author. Like, you are such a kind human being. I'm following you on Twitter and you're just like very nice. But I just really didn't like this book at all and I couldn't get through the last 200 pages so I just picked up Lock and Key and it was perfect but like I mean I just feel so bad because like I hate bashing an author's book and I don't want to bash it but I just I have a rant session I need to have about that book it just I really didn't like it and I don't know why people loved it so much like I'm glad people did I'm glad you liked it even though I didn't at all I would also like to pick up Treacherous Shadows by Jennifer Parr this is an arc that I was sent by the author, and this author is a good friend of mine who we met over Bookstagram, and um, we follow each other, and like, she's super awesome, and her pictures are super gorgeous. If you aren't following her on Instagram, I think it's author Jennifer Parr, um, and yeah, um, so this is her book that is being released. Yeah, so I just actually got this today, so I'm really excited to read it. Um, it's like, 
fantasy. The synopsis is a little bit complicated, but um, go read about it. Um, and she signed it for me, so um, yeah, I'm really excited to read her book. I'll probably pick that up this month. We'll see what I have time for and if I go into another mini slump. Because like Lady Midnight honestly put me in the biggest like book hangover, which I wasn't predicting at all. When I was reading it, I didn't think it would. Like I was enjoying it, but afterwards I realized how much I loved it and how much I missed the characters and how depressed I was because the characters are gone and oh, it was difficult. But Lock and Key just totally won me over and made me feel like the happiest person in the world. So pick that book up if you are in a book hangover. Please just read Lock and Key. And I'm so excited to read more of Sarah Dessen's books and I have like four more that I haven't read. So I'm so excited and I can't wait to meet her and get Lock and Key signed. It's gonna be the best. So yeah, that is it. This was probably a pretty short video just because I didn't read a lot and I don't have a lot on my TBR. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. Let me know what you were planning on reading in April and let me know what your favorite book you read in March was. Mine was definitely Lady Midnight. Like I know I gave it a smaller rating than Clockwork Princess, but it was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it was like, mm -hmm. thank you all for watching this video, and I will talk to you in my next one, bye!